Hi, welcome to each and every one of you, wherever you are geographically. Come on in, and take a seat, bless the Lord. It is so, I, I actually count it an honor to be in your, your company again. Listen, like and subscribe. Yes, share, share this video. And today I, I pray that, that this would, there would be a word that would encourage you on your journey. Yes. And I'd like to just encourage you right now. You may be going through some things that perhaps you may not understand. And, and you may even, perhaps you may say, God, why me? Why is this happening? Well, I, I would like you to take a moment to refocus and turn your attention to God, Abba Father, Yahweh, the God who redeems our creator. Yes, because the word of God says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, and it's in him that we live and we move and have our being. And so, listen, when you're feeling overwhelmed and and it seems like you may not be able to take another minute, another second of what you're experiencing. Try this. Just crying out to God, Abba Father, and say, Lord, help me. Show me the way. Give to me your strength. And there's an, this is a nugget for today. Yes, it is so important that we move in God's timing, that we wait for God. Because so many times it, it may seem like God has taken too long. Where is God? It, it may seem that he's not there. But I, I'd like to tell you, God is right there. He is faithful to his word. It is God who performs his word. And so I... I just want to, sometimes there are no words that, that I can say or you can say that can bring comfort, but you can find comfort and strength in the word of God. And I just want to read in your hearing right now, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. But God had revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. And get this in verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Yes, and I'd like to say to you, many times you may be at a place or going through something, a difficult time, a difficult moment, and you would hear, you know, God speaks to us in different ways, and, and sometimes you persons can hear, hear God audibly. Other times... Um, you may just feel this tugging or this leading. God will give you discernment. It's the Spirit of God. And really, it is the Holy Spirit. He is the encourager. And so today, you may be sad or going through some sorrowful times. Yes, you may have lost your loved ones. No words, there are no words that can bring comfort, but the word of God, God's grace is sufficient for you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. So I say to you today to encourage you, the nugget today is wait on God. Wait for God's timing, his timing is perfect 
And God promised that he would not put more on you. And I'm saying you, but I'm speaking to me first. God will not put more on you than you can bear. And what you have been experiencing for many years, it is your preparation. It is your process for where God is taking you. Yes, it is. And I want you to remember, and, and perhaps you do remember the story of Joseph. His brothers called him the dreamer. He's always dreaming. But his dreams depicted his future. And his brothers knew it. His father knew it. But they hated him. They hated him for his dreams. And for the fact that it seemed like their, his brothers, it seems like their dad, their father, favored him more. But can I tell you though, the first place Joseph went was to the pit. There was purpose in the pit full experiences. And the next place that that Joseph went, he went into captivity. Yes, there's purpose in captivity also. And he went to prison. He was innocent though. And all of it was the process to Joseph becoming the prime minister of Egypt. He was next in line to the Pharaoh. What a painful process. Pain is birthing great joy in your life. It's bringing discipline. Yes, God is working a far greater, a greater work within you in the midst of your most trying hour. And so I encourage you where you are not to give up, to keep hope alive. And I encourage you to spend more time communing with God. And that's talking, talking, talking to God. Spend more time, increase the time that you spend in prayer and in the studying of God's word. Because in the word is God, God's blueprint for our lives. Yes, the word of God will bring transformation. And so do not rely on how you're feeling. Right now you could be very sad, lonely, depressed, feeling oppressed. Those things will pass. Do not allow your emotions to control your life. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And God wants you, he wants me to call to him for help. As simple as losing something very valuable in your home, in your car, at your job. And the second that, that you pray and say, Lord, help me to find this or that. And immediately, almost immediately, there it is. Because you asked him. But ask God first. Ask him first. Seek him first in everything. Yes. And so, as I leave you right now, remember Matthew chapter 5 and verse 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. God is up to something big in your life. Great. Greatness is in you. Hold on. Don't you let go. Don't you give up. God bless you. Keep hope alive.